This is a little bit of a different genre of aircraft related content, but it is still really interesting. So as you can see, the video that is like really weird, really different, and that's because it's infrared. Um, this is actually a school project at my high school. We uh, were able to start a drone program to educate people on how they work and hopefully in turn get them their FAA license, which is super cool. And one of the perks of that is that we got enough funding to get two Inspires with FLIR thermal cameras. This project here is uh, basically a simulation of like what would happen if we needed to find an animal out in the woods or like a human or something. So what happened is someone hid like a hot pack. It's about a, a foot long and six inches wide. They've hid it out in the woods and our job is to go find it. I'm not actually flying right now. My friend is. His name's Hunter. I'm currently the visual observer so I got to watch this. He's kind of uh, switching between the different thermal views here, here to see what is best because he had never flown the thermal inspire before and uh, I wasn't very competent with it either so that was kind of the thing as we were switching back and forth and finally we settled on the uh, like a black is hot theme so it's black and white and it, it looked the best through this one but both of the inspires have like different discrepancies I guess like some of them different modes look better others worse I think it's just because of how the cameras are calibrated no two are the same and here he's switching between them you can kind of see what they look like and the others I think that one's black as hot right there no that's why it's hot okay anyway yeah but you can see the white okay you switch to black that's the one that works the best the black one and you can see the person there is like glowing really darkly because he's really warm and this all the effects were kind of magnified because it was like 20 degrees out today. Oh, and see that black speck? That that actually ends up being what we're looking for, which is absolutely amazing. It's a it's literally like I said, a little beanbag, and it's actually in a little bit of water here. At least that's what they said uh, when they grabbed it. So right now, Hunter is trying to maneuver around the surprisingly invisible trees. There's actually tons of trees; you can't see them, but. He's maneuvering behind the tree and bringing it down over it, so our, I guess, retrieval squad can come and grab the actual beanbag. So he's, uh, <laughs> he's trying to figure out where it is. I'm sort of like, dude, watch out for the tree because it's, like, really sketchy and you know how expensive these things are. Especially with the camera. And he's flying over water as well. It's, it was more of, like, it was very marshy down there. Just added a whole, uh, extra dimension of scariness the entire thing but now he's come down pretty low over the beanbag but yeah I believe he's right over okay so now there he is that's Jonathan he's looking for it he's, we're like yeah, move over a little bit yelling at him <laughs> but he does finally grab it and it's interesting there are different um, there are other black spots around too and we're not really sure what causes that, but either way, it's still pretty fascinating. Yeah, and then again, switching between the modes, trying to decide which one. It's really amazing. He's right here about 200 feet high, and the black specks of the people are still really obvious. So this kind of goes to show how useful a thermal camera mounted on a drone can actually be, because say someone's lost out in like the forest, it's snowed in, they can't get out, they don't know the way they can't find the way out at all like you fly one of these things over and from like a mile you can see it oh and here this is cool as well he picks up the uh, the hot pack and it leaves a hot spot on the ground as and you slowly see that fade away as the uh, heat radiates anyway i was like oh, i wonder how far we can see this from so i don't know i think it's about here he actually flies up really high and then really far away to see what we can see and it's, it's really pretty amazing. You can't really tell how high it is right now, but it's it's actually pretty high. You can see. Actually, if you look really closely as well, you can just barely see the people's footprints. They leave behind little dark spots on the ground as they walk, and they fade away almost immediately. Here we've tipped the camera up just to see what it looks like. There's the top of the school. Actually, I'll have some pictures uh, near the end of this video couple minutes from now that uh, we actually took of the school's roof and we sent them to the HVAC guy because like you can see where the roof's leaking and that's another really cool 
use for uh, thermal cameras on drones. You fly over buildings, be like, oh, it's leaking right here. And also, you can plug this stuff into a software and it'll tell you to the tenth decimal um, how hot it is, which is awesome. And there you can see the water. The water is actually appears colder, which is interesting as well. And it's probably because it's insulating from like the radiation of the Earth. It's like the Earth is hot when the sun's out, so it radiates the heat. But the water is absorbing the heat and not reflecting the heat or not, not radiating the heat as well. But you can see see down there in the corner, you can still see the black specks which are the people in. Right now we're about a thousand feet out. You can also see the windows on the school as dark black spots. Anyway, we're flying back now, and if you look down at the parking lot, just for a little bit you can see it, there's little white squares. And that is where cars were parked, like a couple minutes ago before they moved. And I think that's really cool because you can see, because there wasn't any sun, so the car cast a shadow. And you can see on the parking lot spots where the parking lot is colder than normal. Anyway, here you can see some ducks. There's one right there. Almost in the middle of the screen, it is leaking heat. And we, we took pictures of this and sent them on to the HVAC guy. Anyway, we'll go ahead and cut to some different modes that actually worked well from here. Here's one of the modes, this is a bright red is hot, and you can really see the people. It's it's really clear and it works really well there as well. This mode too, bright red is hot, but you have a little bit of a different shade and that works pretty well. Anyway, here are a whole bunch of pictures of the roof we took, and you can see how useful they would actually be plugged into a program. Alright, and that's a little sneak peek, I suppose, at the uh, abilities of thermal cameras attached to drones. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later.